T-Mobile Arena is packing them in for a number of shows, especially over the last couple weekends, including Gwen Stefani and Coldplay. This weekend, country superstar George Strait performs of one of a number of shows that he has planned there. And just announced today, Mary J. Blige and Maxwell will perform in December. John Katzlamidis, writer for the Review Journal, first column called Cats, is here right now. And you've been to a number of these yes. shows. So I was Good asking luck. you yesterday, I'm like, how's the experience? Because I only went to the opening when it was the killers and the whole, mm -hmm. you know, all that kind Great of thing. Night. But I haven't just went to, like, a show that was planned, bought my ticket, gone in yet. Mm -hmm. So you have. What has it been like? Well, it's uh, one thing that I'm reminded of in, in dealing with T-Mobile Arena. They have a lot of top name acts, obviously. Mm -hmm. I've seen a, a, a lot of them. I saw it most recently Coldplay. Right. And I saw it from the Hyde Lounge up on the, on the top cool. of the, the roof. So it's a very cool place to, to uh, hang mm -hmm. during a show. Plan, in a word, plan for T-Mobile because okay. you're going to need to plan on how to access it, how to park if you're going to park there, uh, and, and spend a considerable amount of time there if you want to be uh, comfortable. That's what I've learned. Okay. I get there early. Um, I usually Uber in, and um, I leave slightly before the end of the show so I can Uber out. Yeah. <laughs> I park either at the uh, Monte Carlo uh, garage, which is also the Bellagio employee garage. It's mm -hmm. labeled as such. Or the New York, New York garage. I get there early enough typically to have dinner beforehand mm -hmm. at the park, one of the restaurants there, and head in. Uh, it will cost you after 5 p.m. $20, even if you're a local, to pay to park there right. on either of those facilities, or $10 online at tmobile.com. You can get in advance. Okay. If you're there before 5 p.m. as a local resident uh, until the end of December, it's free. All right. So there you have it. Yeah, it's all that. And that's the thing. It's a big, it's a, as you would say, it's a thing. It's a thing walking <laughs> in. It's a, and it's a whole thing dealing with it. And often, as I learned at Coldplay, it's epic. Right. Yeah. Uh, Coldplay sold the place out. George Strait does very well there. Mm -hmm. Another sellout is Drake on September 11th. He's filled the place. Yeah. So they're getting some business in there. Uh, Brooks, Garth Brooks um, didn't quite sell out, but did very good business there. Um, some shows have not done as well as others. I was mostly surprised that Billy Joel a few months ago did not uh, sell the place out or come close to it mm, in his only, his only uh, uh, arena show in, in the state huh. this year. So it's a, it's a mixed bag, but it speaks to the competition in Las Vegas we always, right. we always talk about. So until this place runs a whole, the whole clock, we're going to see... Um, you know, varying uh, uh, attendance figures. Right. But it's a beautiful facility. It's a great time if you plan for it. It's just like any other major arena in a metropolitan area. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's talk about local bands. And we've got that Yellow Brick World. People talk about them all the time. One of the favorites here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And it's a cover rock band, right? It's a rock cover band. Classic rock cover band. Mm -hmm. And Yellow Brick Road has established that rock, uh, classic rock covers ended about the time Bon Jovi released uh, <laughs> Uh, their their latest hit, their hits of that era. Right. Um, there they are. There. That's Kelly Christian, who's replaced uh, Brody Dolanik, who's the founder of Yellow Brick Road. These guys started in about 1998 at Railhead at Boulder Station. They're just returning and have just returned to Rock's Lounge at Red Rock Resort. It's a good spot. It's a great spot for them. It's a very uh, it's an interesting place for them. They played out there years ago. A story I love telling. They were too loud because the the music was spilling out of the casino floor and in the Terra Rosa restaurant. Mm. Too loud for the rock and roll band. Wow. So Grody heard that uh, and said, okay, and then they left the venue. That was really? about <laughs> eight years ago, oh, and now they're coming back. So Brody has since moved to San Diego, who is, who's the guy who put it all together, and the band now. They are a great time, and they start at 11 p.m. on Saturdays, mm -hmm. and it's a $10 cover um, or a $5 cover if you have a boarding pass card. And it's um, it's ACDC, it's Van Halen, yeah. it's Ozzy, I it's GNR. I think GNR. Locals, locals really like the cover band thing, too. They do. It's, we changed up. We have we can go see all sorts of you know original artists, all that kind of thing with their original music and stuff like that. When you combine like a bunch of your favorites in one show and just say go it's like a night out instead of really like a show it's part yeah. of your night out well that's what they're doing in that room they're they're it's it's a party room rocks yeah. lounge it's always been set up that way and uh so we have zoe boy who's back there he's sure. the party guy with yeah. his top 40 he's got um, covers yeah he, he covers old and new and yellow brick road when you walk into that room it's not only songs that are familiar but they're great music yeah they're great vocally, and they've been around for a long time. They know what they're doing, and they know how to grab an audience and hold an audience, and it's long overdue that they're coming back to Rock's Lounge. It's great locals act. Yeah. Great. You're not going to see The Wizard of Oz, right? You're going to see some, <laughs> some good music. True that. Yeah, true that. You're not seeing The Wiz either. <laughs> well, you have plenty of columns up and running. Uh, you mm -hmm. can check them out in the Review Journal. Cats is the column online and also in the newspaper. Cats. Cats. Exactly. Stay with, the, uh, stay with us, and we'll see you, Cats, next Wednesday. You got it.